Okay, so we haven't done a video in a while. I saw this guy in my yard and thought we'd cover it. Ah, oh, if we can focus here. Uh, using my phone instead of my camera. So this is, uh, which is kind of the same thing. Huh? This is Artemisia uh, annua. Artemisia annua. Uh, it's a non-native, um, beautifully smelling, pleasantly smelling uh, wormwood, or I think it's been called sweet war wormwood, also sweet annie, mugwort, sweet mugwort, all kinds of things. Let's get my hand here so we can focus. Um, it has these, it's in the Asteraceae, so it has these, these little flowers, are actually flower heads, and I think there's like 20 or so uh, bisexual flowers in there, or they could be pistolate flowers, maybe 10 to 20 or something like that. And each one of these, these little yellow, let's go down here and see if we can see it better. These little yellow um, flower-like things are actually a cluster of flowers. So in the Asteraceae, it's, uh, it's these, the composite family, so it has these clusters of flowers. Um, so the leaves on this are, are deeply dissected, fern-like almost, almost like a botrychium or a skeptridium or whatever we want to call it now. Uh, or like uh, in the carrot family, the apiaceae, it kind of looks like that a little bit. So it's, it's deeply, deeply dissected. Usually the hairs are, or the, usually the leaves have no hairs, it's glabrous, or may have some sparse hairs on it. If you crinkle it up and smell it, it smells unbelievable. It's, yes, it smells so sweet. That's the name. And let's zoom out and take a look at the plant as a whole. This plant can get quite large. Uh, in my yard, it's it's small, happily. Probably going to remove it. Uh, so this has been cultivated for the, the, um, the oils. Also, medicinally, uh, I guess there's some compounds that, that, um, that help with malaria. However, because of that, now there's a big push that it may help COVID as well, but there's no evidence. It's a nice hypothesis, but so far there's no evidence to back that up. Uh, regardless of what YouTubers probably tell you, uh, those that believe in magic. Um, but you can look here, there's the, the leaves. The stem, so the, uh, the stem is, is smooth as well. You can see there, rigid, as these, um, it looks, I mean, it looks like a, a, your, your basic Artemisia's there it is, Artemisia annua. The, the, it's an, it's, yeah. I have, I don't think I have anything else to say about it besides it's cultivated for its smells and so forth and so forth. I guess it's been naturalized uh, in some areas in the southern Indiana. Um, and Charles Dean talked about it uh, 80 years ago or so that it was a common weed in in south, uh, the southern half of Indiana and very rare in northern Indiana. Um, but here we are in northern Indiana in Porter County in my yard, and here it is, so I didn't put it here. <laughs> Alright, kind of cool playing. Cheers, guys.